What is up guys? Welcome back to the shop today. It's been several weeks probably since I've released a video for you guys and part of that's been it has just been crazy hot where I'm at. Uh, about 100 degrees almost every day and after work I just really don't feel like coming out to the shop and messing with anything. Today Another. we're going to work on making some clamps for the old fab table that I made a while back. And uh, clamps for these tables if you've looked into them really are 30 40 50 bucks a piece for like some okay-ish ones not name brand or anything crazy but uh, I just went to Harbor Freight and grabbed some of these clamps and I'm gonna go ahead and turn them into my own fab table style clamps and uh, spin you around here show you what we got I already cut these on the bandsaw cuz I didn't figure you guys cared that much but this is just 5 8 mild steel uh, ground stock that sun's really screwing with my stuff. And they were one inch long, I cut them down already. And then I got four of these size ones and two of the extra long ones from Harbor Freight. Uh, first I tried with the chisel to knock that off and it's a little hard, so I think we're just gonna take a grinder, knock one side of this off real quick, knock the pin out, do some clean up around the bottom side of these and weld those to them. We'll probably weld at a slight bit of an angle forward like this so when it clamps back it's actually straight we're just going to kind of eyeball it tack it in place and kind of see what we think on the first one and we'll go from there i'm gonna go ahead and throw some ppe some ears in and get my hood and stuff on and we're gonna go ahead and just grind through all those real quick and see how it turns out shouldn't be too bad but uh want to be as safe as we can don't want to get injured on a weekend or anything like that not be able to go to work or have an issue like that so we're gonna do that real quick and we'll go from there. Okay, I ended up having to grind out a little bit more than I planned. The ground on both sides and that seemed to let it move pretty good. I need to bring a punch home, or maybe I'll order a set of punches for at home, but uh, need one to get in there good. This is too big and I can't find one around here, so we'll have to keep messing with it another day, but that's the general idea. Punch that punch out, that'll come off. Uh, we'll clean up on the inside a little bit, weld one of those to it, pretty easy. So. We'll get after it as soon as we get a punch back and get that done. Well guys, we're back out in the shop and I'd like to say it is the next day, but in reality, it's been almost a week since I first started doing these clamps here. And uh, we finally brought a punch home, finally remembered to bring one home. And uh, so we're gonna get this tapped out. I think we're just gonna time lapse. So I'm gonna prep like probably two of them for the video real quick. And then we'll get to tacking them together and all that stuff. So sit tight, we'll get them ready. Hopefully you can see it. I was kind of struggling to get the bottom half separated. I don't, they seem to be pressed in there and they're a pretty darn tight fit. Um, and I didn't have a really good way to hold it. And also there's some crud and stuff that I think they're getting stuck on. But finally did get them loose. Just cleaned up the edge there where we're gonna weld the studs basically too real quick. Uh, no big deal. We'll get that, we'll get the first one tacked up, kind of just eyeball where we want it. 
I'm going to try and set this up with some other steel so it kind of sits in the center. And then this could be somewhere in there. Don't have to be perfect, I don't think so. Get her close and go from there. Okay guys, and just like that we got three fab table clamps. Uh, I ended up figuring out if you're watching me mess with them. Uh, I put a forward angle on the mount section so that when the clamp goes in, it's already... Couldn't see my hand. But uh, when it goes in, then it's already sitting cocked back because basically how these work is they pinch in the hole and then hold it and once it's pinched it's basically stuck. And that's what gives you clamp force. Then you were able to push against it and clamp something. So at that forward rake, it already starts out leaned backwards against the point of clamping. Uh, and that allows it so that the clamp is pretty much flat once it's clamping. So it seems to work pretty good. Uh, I'm going to let these sit here and cool. Uh, naturally, I won't dunk them in water. I want the welds to be as strong as possible. Uh, so we're just going to let them sit on the bench and cool down for a bit. No big deal. Alright guys, it's been a little bit here. And I got one clamp cooled down and it's just chilling. Show you how this works, kind of. Kind of stuck in there. Just drops in my fab table hole here. Put the dust down. Tighten that out. Now you can see the clamp's pretty much straight. Which gives you the most or the best load is when it's straight up and down. So, obviously I missed half the piece there, but let me move that here. Now I'm moving the whole table. So, these work pretty good, guys. Well, guys, it's been kind of a shorter video this time, but uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with how these are turning out. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of them off camera so you don't have to watch me do the same thing over and over again. But, I mean, if you're in the market for some of these uh, fabrication clamps or whatever for your own table project that you've built, or maybe you bought one and you just are like, man, $40 is crazy for just one of these clamp. Well, Harbor Freight, they're about four bucks the hardest part of the whole deal is getting the factory like back section of that clamp tapped off that was the worst part otherwise i mean really don't have a lot of time into them maybe five ten minutes a piece and to save 30 bucks a clamp that's not bad so they're good enough for me i think the clamping force is plenty for anything i'll do and uh you know hey it works see you guys later